Okay. Hi, everyone. My name is Liron Tal. I'm a software engineer at Wix.com, and today I want to talk about building a parallel and asynchronous artifact publishing pipeline. So in this lightning talk, I'll focus on the process of taking build outputs, such as Docker images, uploading them to a binary repository, and tagging them incrementally in the correct order, and the challenges that we face to make this process both fast and correct. So our initial implementation is this one. Um, we've implemented a publisher build step, which is running after the build has finished. It discovers artifacts by using custom tags and parsing the build event protocol. Um, we're pushing Docker images with a basal run of rules Docker container push, which requires um, the basal workspace. And we utilize the fact that the build agent has access to the build outputs from remote workers, so this bas basal run is actually working. Um, the publisher step, after it uh, publishes all the Docker images, sends metadata, such as like artifact ID, the commit time, and um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, to a promotion service. And then the promotion service decides whether to increment the version or not to increment it. So why do we need, why do we need a promotion service? So um, we really can't promote based on local reasoning on the build agent. And um, the reason we can't do that is that we're running parallel builds on master. And as most of you pretty, pretty much know that if you're running parallel stuff, you cannot um, be sure of any ordering of those. And that means that if um, there are two builds are running in parallel and um, one, if one of them finishes, we cannot rely on the fact that it finishes or the other one finishes afterwards. Um, so we need to set some ordering. Um, and specifically, Bazel is obviously aggressively caching targets. So one build uh, may have started and a build has started afterwards, but the build that uh, started afterwards will use uh, the hard work of the previous build and use the cache and may finish before that. So we need to account for that. Um, we also support history builds, which uh, means that developers can decide to rerun their previous builds and um, there isn't any state that says that like this is a rerun or um, it's just a new fresh build on master. And we need to know that not to promote it, even though it's just a build that finished now. It's actually like a fresh build, but with stale commits or old data. Um, in addition, um, we need to support uh, multi-target artifacts. Um, most of our artifacts are actually a Docker image and then some targets which contain resources and configs, uh, similar to what like uh, Etsy uh, showed earlier. And our promotion service needs um, to aggregate all these targets before it can actually promote. Um, in addition, given that we have uh, a promotion microservice and multiple nodes, um, so it's actually a distributed system. And incrementing correctly in a distributed system is something you need to take care of. So we do that by uh, using an event-based event architecture, and we're sharding our consumers by the artifact ID. So actually each promotion flow for each artifact is running effectively on a single threaded event loop. So we get no race conditions and all kinds of stuff like that. And we try to minimize the logic on that like critical path to prevent any errors or any, any other problems. And also from that part taking a long time. We want to make that synchronized part as short as possible. Um, so we've got correct, we've got all this feature, but not fast. So as most of you know, and we've heard from many companies here, the build part is very fast. And as you can see in our graphs, so the build part is green, and then the yellow part is the publisher step, which I've described. And you can see it takes about 30% of the overall time. And um, it's a bummer. It's kind of wasteful because, um, as I mentioned before, the publisher step is waiting for the whole build to finish. Um, and somehow we want to improve on that. And that's not our only problem in making that fast. Um, in addition, we're running that uh, build step, the publisher build step, on uh, orchestration machines. And those have low IOPS, which actually means that we're, um, we cannot do all the parallelization that we want um, to push Docker images. 
Um, last but not least is that the builds without bytes in, uh, optimization that many have uh, already talked about has actually made the first issue worse for us because um, it has reduced the build time, the green lines, but uh, the yellow lines now are longer because um, our publisher step, which needs all kinds of targets, does not get that. So it needs, it needs to run and do more work in the Bazel run. So the ratio for us, for us has become worse. Like it should be optimization and it optimized the build, but um, actually our publishing step became even longer. So we have, again, correct but not fast. And our take two um, and our uh, implementation is an asynchronous and parallel and fast one. So um, we implemented a publisher service, which is uh, polling the result store to know when each of our artifacts targets are ready. And then this, this service uh, downloads and publishes each target as soon as it possible while the build is still running. So we're trying to parallelize this publishing part and actually the build part. So we're trying to reduce all these yellow lines as much as possible and move them to, the, um, to happen while the build, in parallel to the build. Um, we created a macro and a rule which outputs the image info from uh, rules docker. And we use that image info um, to push to docker registry using docker client. And we actually push only some layers and not the whole image because we have all kinds of uh, uh, base images that they're, they're already exist and we know that and we don't need to push them. So we just push some layers. And after all that, we just wait for the build to succeed and then we notify the promotion service um, which now only needs to tag correctly, um, which is very, very fast because all the heavy lifting, the publishing has already happened. Um, so actually, um, we're very happy, but we do depend on some implementation details of uh, rules Docker. Um, we depend just on a tiny bit. Yeah, I see <laughs> some people laughing at the back, but uh, it's just a tiny bit. We're not worried about that, but we, do have a huge win, which was worth for us, is that we do not need to run Bazel outside our build agents. And not only Bazel, but also um, cloning Git repositories and all stuff like that is something that we've had in the past and is, um, it's very, very painful. And uh, we prefer being uh, dependent on some minor implementation details on like having to deal with ran running Bazel and cloning Git repositories. Um, in addition, this service enjoys really high degree of parallelism, which means that we can add uh, as many instances that we need to speed up to make sure it's always faster than the build. So we can monitor that and make sure we have enough instances to make that uh, yellow part just uh, disappear and finish before the build uh, really finish. Um, potentially, we're planning to um, do asynchronous streaming to maximize the throughput. Um, and we have two more features I'd like to mention, which are upcoming. Um, the first one, we want to do a fine-grained promotion, which means that um, now we wait for the whole uh, build to finish before we promote, but we can um, let the developers figure out what targets they want to wait on and just um, promote their version once these targets are ready and not uh, for the whole build to be ready. Another cool feature we're planning to add is that um, we have a continuous deployment system. And uh, if you want to opt in so that each uh, commit of your artifact will actually roll out um, and have a continuous deployment, we are planning to add it as some kind of a tag. So this is another nice uh, feature and similar a bit to what also Etsy presented. Um, that's it. So this is our uh, journey on making uh, this flow both fast and correct. And I really hope your builds will be just as fast so other components in the system, just like this one, will start to become your bottlenecks. Thank you. I don't know if one question? Quick. Sorry, questions? Anyone? Got a question. Oh, sure. Yeah, okay, so, um, so I'll try to do that quick. So we have this, um, this drawing. 
Well, oh, okay. So the question is why the builds without the bytes uh, has been problematic to us. So if you can see in this drawing, we have the publisher step, and it's doing a, a Bazel run, and um, with the output of like a rules docker container push. And uh, we need um, a lot of like all kinds of targets to be in the workspace already of that, uh, let's say, agent that is running the publisher part. Now, because of uh, builds without the bytes, the remote workers skip some of the targets, and that part, now the Bazel run, uh, needs like to bring in more stuff. So like the build is fast, but now this part needs to do more work. So the ratio, the overall ratio, yeah, okay. And no, and any more questions? Or? Uh, please feel free to ask uh, some of the questions. So, uh, sure, but remember, you know, it's nice to take a break. Please introduce yourself. 